Hi, this is Steve Franklin with the Indiana Soccer Association. Wanted to reach back out to you and uh, give a few reminders of our COVID-19 return to play policies. We're about to enter stage four on June 15th. So we just wanted to kind of reach out to you and give you a couple updates. First thing we'd like to do is awesome job in stage two with the isolation training. We had some creative clubs that got out there and did technique training and, and other types of individual training that we tried to uh, promote on our social media platforms. And what you're looking at is a quick video Zoom that uh, Tommy Thompson of the San Jose Earthquakes and former IU player did with uh, South Central Soccer Academy. Great opportunity, Tommy was awesome. We've got all of his videos on our coaching education website drop down menu so check those out we also wanted to say awesome job with the social distance training in stage three uh george perry and myself got around to some fields and it was it was awesome to see people really taking um serious notice of uh wearing ppe and keeping the kids socially distanced it wasn't an easy task but kudos to you awesome job so again, we wanted to thank you for everything that you're doing on your part um, to promote and to actually put into action uh, some of the policies that our governor has put in place as well as uh, the Indiana Soccer Association. As we enter stage four on June 15th and we get into the skill development training now what you can do is get into some actual tournaments or friendly competitions. You can get activities that have contact now. Um, your traditional 4v4 games, 7v7 games, 9v9 games, even 11v11 if you like. The normal training sessions can begin and you can actually get back to normal lengths if you like. Remember that physical contacts only permitted within the rules of soccer during the time of active competitive play. Hopefully we're not gonna have any off-field huddles or team celebrations, personal contact, where once again, we may unfortunately pass on the virus. There should be a maximum of 250 people total at any one field. That includes players, coaches, referees, and spectators. And while you're at those fields, make sure that you are making use of CDC and social distancing guidelines. Players not warming up on the field should wear their PPE mask, as should the coaches as well. Any coach that's up offering any type of instruction or coaching um, is allowed to pull down their mask so that they can effectively get their message out to their players. On the sidelines, Remember that we do want to have a social distance between players that are not actively involved. And that's in a six by six area. So the easiest way to do that is we are not going to use team benches because it's kind of hard to sit six feet apart on those. We're going to ask that players and coaches bring their own folding chair so that they can properly assist social distance while the match is played. You can keep your bag there, your water, uh, your mask should you check into the game, that type of thing. There should also be a referee area that allows for social distancing as well. And a uh, friendly reminder that spectators attending games should follow the social distancing guidelines as well. So we should see a six foot distance between family groups um, that are attending and supporting their um, their children or their friends that happen to be playing. Along with moving into stage four, we are gonna see some modification to the protocols for the referees. We are gonna ask that the referees do wear a mask going to the field. If you're the only one working the game, wear it. But if you have a crew that's with you with ARs and a center official, trees may, please make sure that you, uh, you adhere to the six foot um, social distancing requirements as well. We're going to ask that you wear a mask during your field inspection, introducing yourself to coaches, team check-ins, and the captain's meeting. As a note, we're going to ask that each team only has one team representative in the captain meeting to, again, 
eliminate any unnecessary um, grouping of individuals. The referees and the assistant referees are not required to wear the mask during the game, as is the players. They are not allowed to or not asked to as well. During the game, if there needs to be a conversation with the player or coach, again, we should look to adhere to the social distancing. Post-game acknowledgement between players, coaches, referees. You can say good game, give a uh, long-distance high five if you like, but try to avoid any physical contact whatsoever. And then as you leave to go maybe from field to field or back to the parking lot, we're going to encourage you to put that mask back on again. We want to try to keep everyone um, safe and hopefully kill this virus from spreading from person to person uh, while we conduct our soccer activities. Stage five should come July 4th. That's the go time. The governor at that time will most li likely implement stage five if we don't see a re uh, reemergence of the virus. Please anticipate that social distancing will continue as we transition from stage four to stage five. And we ask that you follow CDC and Indiana soccer recommendations. Once again, on behalf of Indiana soccer, our entire staff, we want to say thank you for doing your part. These were unprecedented times. They were unfamiliar times. And we just want to say thank you for partnering with us in keeping our training areas safe, keeping our members safe, and we hope that you continue to do your part. If you have any questions at all regarding play or training activities or anything along that lines, please reach out to either myself, Steve at soccerindiana.org, George Perry at george at soccerindiana.org, or if it happens to be a referee question, feel free to contact Samir Yasa at samir at soccerindiana.org. Thank you once again, and we look forward to seeing you out on the fields.